In this video, we're going to attempt to find the missing side of a triangle, given one side and an angle. In this triangle, we have this 25-degree angle, and we're given the side of 4, and we're looking for x. To help us decide which trig ratio to use, the sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse, the cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, or the tangent, which is opposite over adjacent, so katoa. Let's label the sides that we have labeled to see what we're working with. Notice the 4 and the 25 are across from each other, so we would say the 4 is the opposite side, and the x is between the right angle and the angle we're working with, and so that's called the adjacent side. So here we have an adjacent and an opposite, or an opposite and adjacent. And you notice the only trig ratio that uses both of those is the tangent. So what we will do is we will take the tangent of the angle, the tangent of 25 is equal to opposite over adjacent, 4 over x. To help us out with the tangent of 25, we can either use a calculator or a trig table. The tangent of 25 to 3 decimal places is 0.466 equals 4 over x. And I always like to put the 0.466 over 1, because that gives me a proportion, which we know how to solve. We solve proportions by multiplying the diagonals. We end up with 0.466x is equal to 4 times 1, or 4. And we can quickly solve this by dividing by 0.466 to find out that x is equal to approximately 8.58. In other words, that missing side of the triangle, the adjacent side, is 8.58 units long. We found it by identifying the sides that we're working with, and which trig ratio we could use to find that. Let's try another example where we can see that worked out. In this triangle, we're given the 70 degrees. So let's see what the x and 9 would be labeled as. The x is between the right angle and the 70 degrees, that makes it the adjacent side. And the 9's the long side across from the right angle, that makes it the hypotenuse. So if we think about our so ka toa, which one uses adjacent and hypotenuse? The cosine does. Cosine uses adjacent and hypotenuse, so we'll take the cosine of the angle. The cosine of the 70 degrees, cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent is x over the hypotenuse of 9. Our calculator, or our trig table, can tell us what the cosine of 70 is. It's going to be 0.342 equaling x over 9. Again, to make it a proportion so I can solve it, I always put that over 1, so we can multiply the diagonals. x times 1 is x, and point oh, point 0.342 times 9 is equal to 3.08. So that missing side, that adjacent side, must be 3.08 units. Again, we found that side by identifying the sides we're working with based on the angle, and remembering so katoa, only one of them will use both adjacent and hypotenuse. That's the cosine, so we took the cosine of the angle equals adjacent over hypotenuse, evaluate the cosine and put it over 1, and solve the resulting proportion.